Nadia Lavilla ISD schools are closed until Thursday, but it could be longer if the city and the school district can't come to an agreement regarding the water and sewage system surcharge. Until then, no water means no classes. What is going on as far as the water shutdown is ridiculous. That is more of a political move. They're trying to get this money on the backs of our children. And that's unfair. While students all across the valley are back to school Monday, the same can't be said for the students of La Villa ISD. Saturday night, the La Villa School District decided to cancel classes until the water is turned back on. They really, you know, how can I say, hurt our kids this way by not reconnecting the water and the sewage to our students. The city turned off the district's water just before Christmas, claiming the district is behind in its payments by more than $50,000. The district refuses to pay an additional $8 per student on top of a $6 water surcharge the city and district agreed to in 2012. Superintendent Narciso Garcia is shocked the city insists on keeping the faucets off and says it's not fair because students don't even drink the water. Our children haven't drank from those from our campus' uh, water fountains in over you know four years. Uh, we've basically prior administration and then uh, prior school board uh, has authorized the district to purchase uh, bottled and purified water. Angie Reina has two children in La Villa High School. She says that this closure has them worried about their future. Mom, will I even get to get graduate from the La Villa High School? And like, we, we don't know, Mom. Let's hope and see. Let's hope and wait to see what happens. On Wednesday, city and school officials will meet in Austin with the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality to try and solve this situation and get the kids back to school by Friday. Garcia tells Action 4 that students will make up the days they missed during spring break or they could be coming in some Saturdays. In the studio, Valeria Ponte, Action 4 News.